Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trofin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Last time, we beat Genichiro at the top of Ashina Castle and found out that there's a shortcut that leads straight back to the dilapidated temple, which means that the past 20 hours were a bit um, useless because I could have just whacked my way through the bamboo here, through the cave, and end up where we needed to end up eventually. But let's start this episode by talking to a few people mainly this guy so friend you a shinobi or what uh yes that's right <laughs> thought so in that case i've got information that might pique your interest surely a shinobi like you understands the value of good information uh sure fujioka the info broker oh so you're looking for goods instead of info, huh? I've always had sticky fingers, I guess. I end up collecting lots without really noticing. I got fed up with all the offerings and memorials, so I left the mob. But when I see a dead body, I can't leave it unpilfered. Besides, property can belong to anyone, right? <laughs> so this guy was once part of the memorial mob, which is interesting. Hey, friend. If you're going to Ashina Castle, be careful. They've got all kinds of strange ones in there now, and lots of them at that. I know the interior ministers are afraid of Ishin Ashina, but it looks like they've found their nerve. Tide might be turning for Ashina. What do you mean by that? Hey, friend. Okay, this... tide... That's interesting. So the internal ministers might have gotten the nerve to rise up against Ishin Ashina himself. Let's see what he actually has for sale. So straight down to the more interesting item, Sabimaru Memu, Mem Memu, Memo, a memo detailing the whereabouts of a Kodachi short sword known as Sabimaru. Must be purchased to read the content. And then the three-story pagoda memo, a memo describing the three-story pagoda must be purchased to read the content. Now we have the gourd seed, of course, that we want to, the gourd seed that we want to buy as well. Let's see how much money we have, actually. So I actually have a lot of money available. So if I go up to 3,000 to buy everything, which is, this should be enough. So 3,000, we can buy the information and the gourd seed. So gourd seed, definitely. And then the three-story pagoda. And we don't get to see that right away. So let's just buy that and get out. So Sabimaru Memo, a memo detailing the whereabouts of Kodachi swords, short sword known as Sabimaru. The ancient Kodachi Sabimaru can be found within Ashina Castle, enshrined in the bottom floor of the keep. Sabimaru was wielded in wars of old and is a national treasure of Ashina. Supposedly the blade's poisonous blue rust could drive off even the inhuman Okami warrior women. So that was something that I knew I needed to go back to. So in Ashina Castle, we could actually drop down to the lower level if we wanted to. And then the three-story pagoda memo. It is said a precious treasure was once held within the Hirata estate pagoda. A threefold tower stood upon a precipice along a slope lined with bamboo groves. Seems the treasure is related to shinobi techniques. The truth of it escapes me, but they call it Blessed Mist. Interesting, but I think we can get that Sabimaru immediately if we want to. Now, we also got a Gourd Seed, but the Gourd Seed I need to give to Emma, which, who is now at Ashina Castle herself. But let's talk to the Sculptor first. For the upgrades, we're missing the Scrap Iron, so nothing there as well. So no need to check that further, there's nothing for us there. Might as well just take a quick look behind the temple if anything has changed here, since... I mean, stuff has been appearing at random, apparently. Let's head back to that shortcut towards Ashina Castle, so through this wall. And there we have Ashina Castle again. So if we go up, Emma should still be here, yeah. Oh, I cannot give her a Gert Seed right now. That is annoying. Okay, let's go get that short sword then. So from the upper level antechamber where we fought those blue robe dudes, like the one over here. There we go, I could use the ninjutsu, but I don't really want to do that right now. Then we have 
that guy moving to the other side. We can clear this out. I and mean, this is where we need to jump down. So let's just go down immediately. Because I don't want to lure any more guys over here. So there we have a bunch of dudes. But now we're right at the gates probably. Which is good. There we go. Oh, oh. It's been a while for me. There we go. And there we go. Oh my god, I kind of lost against that guy. <laughs> yeah, just for, uh, for reference, it's been a while. There we go. So it's been a while. Uh, took a little bit of a break because I recorded too much of this. Uh, not of anything else, so you live it, we found that before, but now there's a big chest, which is probably going to house the short sword. There we go, pick that up. Sabimaru, an ancient blade, Kodachi short sword, is blade mottled with blue bluish rust. Can be fitted to the Shinobi prosthetic to create a prosthetic tool, forged by the Ashina clan to resist the inhuman evil that had invaded Ashina in times long forgotten. It was the poisonous gift of the blue rust that finally drove the spirits out. So poison is good against spirits. That's what I le learned from that. And we can create that short sword into a prosthetic. Fine. So I think this also means we can open up the front gates. Not that I know what use that would have, because of course that just opens up to a bunch of extra enemies. But hey, now the gates are open at least. So let's get back in the crouch and want to see if there's anything else in this building. So the staircase is a little dead end. I can't get up here. Uh, and I can't grapple onto anything either. So let's head into this room again. And there's a tunnel to the side. Which also opens up. Okay. And it opens up to... I don't know. Where are we now? Is this the reservoir again? Don't get a prompt. And I have no idea where we are now. In relation to anything else. It's a big pool of water though. With uh, at least two of those carps. Which is good. Means two treasure uh, scales. Oh, there's two dudes on the bridge as well. Just gonna loop around a bit. These are different enemies. That's one of the hunters. <laughs> There we go. Got a Mikiri counter off, and that's his da him down. Oh, heavy corn first. And there we go. So, Spear Hunter. Fine enough. Still don't really know where we are. And we got Scrap Iron from him. That's also good. That is also good. Is that the bluish shine of a yeah? The Sculptor's Idol. Where the hell are we now? Is this one that I found already? Doesn't seem like it, no. What's with the snowy landscape all of a sudden? This is really, really cool. Look at that. We haven't been here yet, right? No, because there's plenty of uh, items around. Hmm. If I go down the stairs, do we get a, an indication of where we are? Well, we don't get an indication of where we are, and I don't want to... Leave side areas untouched. So let's first go into the water. I didn't rest, so these guys are not back. But I do want to take care of these two guys on the bridge. And then, of course, the fishies. You're saying we don't have enough salt? Yes, sir. We use it for cooking, of course. But we also use it on wounds and for purifying the dead. So at the rate people are dying, we're out then? Yes, sir. That's why many on the battlefield are falling ill. I see. We'll need to find a way to get some salt then. So salt is a way to cure diseases apparently. And I want to take out the orange guy because he seems to be the biggest bad guy. There we go. And then the gunner. There's somebody over there as well. There we go. 
What's gonna toss him in the water, but that apparently didn't fly. Uh, black gunpowder as well, so we're getting crafting materials from enemies in here. That might be nice if I can gather up a few materials so I can upgrade my prosthetic tools. That would be nice. It's even items in the water. Doesn't seem like these are friendly fish. Doesn't seem like these are friendly fish. I don't get any of those treasure carp scales either. So, yeah, they kind of bumped me there. Let's get back. But this bridge bit also goes further into the woods. Into the woods, but I feel like these are all separate items. What is that? Those are spirit amulets, but I felt something moving, yeah. There's definitely stuff moving here. Are those monkeys again? Yeah, those seem to be monkeys again. Let's get those spirit emblems. And there's a hell of a lot going on here. I don't really know where to start now. Let's crawl along the wall first, because I felt like there was an item on the other side here that I couldn't really get otherwise. So I got on top of the roof. So yeah, that item over there. I'm just going to get onto this rooftop as well to see if there's... Not another item that I'm missing. I don't think so. I didn't see any bird nests. So let's jump from rooftop to rooftop and get this little item over here. Scrap iron. There we go. Two charges of scrap iron. That is great. More items over here, but more sugar. And of course, I'm getting seen. I think I'm going to actually rest at the sculptor's idol. Just want to see what the options are here. So first things first, with the information we got, I want to go back to the bamboo forest over here. Oh wow, okay. And just get a look if I can't find what that note was talking about. So after quickly dispatching every single guy over here, we're looking for a three-story pagoda. Now. We've seen a few buildings that might match that description, but the first thing I wanted to check was if it was somehow related to the main estate itself. So if we can check that. And there we go. Let's kill his ass. Down he goes. Okay, of course we're a lot more powerful than we were before, so this is not that hard. Let's see. The estate itself. I'm not even sure if I can even access this anymore. Because, you know, it's on fire and everything, and we couldn't go into it before. But, seems like we actually can at the moment. Seems accessible. An owl is still dead. Okay. So, three-story pagoda. That's not three-story. So it's definitely not that. So, now that I look at it, there's actually... At that cape where we eventually ended up near Lady Butterfly and the drunken... Uh, the drunken man, there's actually a side path over here that I never checked out. Where does this lead? Oh wow. Oh wow. It's another one of those hunters. And he's seeing me, of course. Oh, and he still does a lot of damage. Oh shit! There's multiple of them! Okay. I think I might be able to do this if I just resurrect behind his ass. Okay, let's heal up. Oh wow, that was bullshit. The range on that. There we go. Oh, and he killed me. But I still have one more resurrection. This is ridiculous. And... There we go. And there we go. Stab this ass. Okay. Well, that was a uh, hard bulging coin purse, though. 
And what were these guys guarding? So they were over here in this completely wrecked up place. What happened here, by the way? Because it looks like there was some sort of building here. For some reason, they destroyed all the bamboo. And they are guarding pallets. Which is not that interesting. And amiibo balloon of soul. So they were just carrying a lot of money. Basically. Because otherwise, I don't really see anything here. Especially not that three-story pagoda. So let's, let's get back. So, I'm back at the, the part of the estate that's completely on fire, where we fought the drunkard. Uh, and I'm actually at five skill points, so I am going to finally get the Breath of Life Light. So we recover vitality upon performing a successful death blow. So let's do just that. That allows us to just get vitality back when we do a death blow. Which is fine. Now I'm going to check over here as well because I'm completely unsure if I missed anything. I'll let you know if I find anything. Now I can see from here there's no three-story pagoda anywhere over here. So I'm just going just gonna to go back. So I was checking out this pagoda. But if I take a look further ahead. And this is going to sound ridiculous. But um, that over there at the top as a three-story pagoda the problem is that i don't have the slightest idea how to get there because that would mean we have a path up from before the bridge which is definitely something i want to find out let's check that out now we actually got a lot of help back from uh that close i'm just gonna rampage through all of these guys just so we can get uh, through here. Because even if I get hit by an arrow, one death blow fixes that. So there we go. And we kill all of that now. I feel like... This thing might be the clue to... So we get up... Oh, felt like we could get up there, but... Unless, of course... We can get into the water. Aha! There's also another treasure carpet here. There we go. We get another treasure carp scale. And now... Let's see what is over here. So there's at least an item here. And I feel like there should be more than that. Contact medicine. And we can go through here. Ooh. Secrets. Glorious, glorious secrets. Okay. What is this going to be? So it's probably going to be the note we were talking about. Okay. He's sometimes glitching out with the wall jumping. I think I need to be more in the middle. Seems like the wall is spreading out though. There we go. So we're higher up now, but it feels like we can get even higher if we want to. This is cool. I thought we were completely done with the Hayata estate, but thank God for that memo, because otherwise I would have just left this entire area alone. But in we should be pretty close to that. Yeah, that three-story pagoda. Oh. Those are those purple cloaked dudes. And we fought one of those before. It was one of those swordsmen. Yeah, he saw me. Okay. Jesus Christ. I'm trying to get out of the way, but... Plant life is getting uh, in my way. I also want to swap. Yeah, there we go. Okay. There we go. 
He's gonna drop down. So this guy does die in one death blow. We get more scrap iron. Goodbye. Okay. Not too shabby. We got our spirit emblems back and we got our health back. And we did get a bit of scrap iron instead as well. So this guy was guarding this tower, which is what we've been looking for the entire episode. Because, yeah, I'm not looking anything up, so I do want to explore everything as blindly as possible. So this is why sometimes things take time a bit. Let's open that up. And that should be the treasure we saw in the memo. Mist Raven's Feathers. A bundle of Mist Raven Feathers can be fitted to the Shinobi Prosthetic to create a prosthetic tool. In Yushui Forest, far to the north of Ashina, live many mysterious birds of prey. The Mist Raven is the only one to have eluded capture by all who have tried. Should you somehow manage it, you'll find it gone. Only feathers in your grasp. Okay, so now we have two items that we can use to make prosthetic tools with. So I'm gonna do just that in a second, because there seems to be more to this area. Where do we end up if we drop down here? There's a lot of... Is this... Where is this? Is this where we were? Yeah, that's the bridge. Okay, okay, okay. So this is where we were. Okay, fair enough. I don't think there's anything to this area anymore then. Otherwise, so strike me down. But uh, no. Okay, let's go down again. I'll see you guys in a second. Back at the sculptor. So, sculptor, let's have a little chat. Something. And fit two new prosthetics. So with Sabi Maru. Um, a prosthetic tool made with the blade Sabimaru, allowing for a quick series of attacks together with a sword. Called Spirit Emblems. Use the blue poisonous rust on Sabimaru's blade applies the poison status abnormality. Wielded in wars of old, the blade's blue rust was used to drive off inhuman Okami warrior women. Even now, it is likely to be effective against their descendants. So war to war to war to war to combo. Perform a flurry of attacks with both the sword and the Sabimaru. Sabimaru's attacks... Inflict the poison status abnormality. So let's create that. And then the Mist Raven. Static tool loaded with a feather of a Mist Raven. When attacked in the assumed stance, disappear like the mist and move away. Once you think you've caught one, all that will remain is feathers. That is the mark of a true Mist Raven. So our two Mist stands when attacked in the stance instantly move in the direction chosen with the direction. Hmm. Cool, so that's basically a special kind of dodge. Now we can upgrade. And uh, we might see a bit more. So yeah, now we can see the Sabumaru improved and the aged Fedic Mist Ravens. But to do that, we need to actually buy some more upgrades. Um, the first upgrade I actually want to have, I want to work towards, is the Phantom Kunai. It's going to be cool. But to do that, because yeah, there's a lot of extra things unlocked now. Um, to do that, we need to be able to buy the Spiral Blade and the Aged Feather Mist Raven. And of course, in true fashion, we only have enough to buy one upgrade. Uh, and I'm going to go for the Loaded Spear Cleave type. So, unleash far-reaching trust attacks. Lighter enemies struck by the spear may be dragged towards the wielder. Can also tear... Poorly fitting armor from heavier foes, but store energy in the spring mechanism for a powerful cleaving attack. So if you hold it, we are able to cleave instead of stab. So it's probably a thicker blade then. If yeah, if we look at the at the image, the blade is a lot heavier. So let's go with the loaded spe spear cleave type. Right. Or we could go. Oh, there's a lot of things we can do. Large sweeping attacks with the with the axe might also be nice. So let's start with that. Now we can work towards... Oh, I can actually do the Aged Feather Mist Raven. So, this spear like the mist and move away can be performed not only from the assumed stance, but also after taking damage. The slight notches in the tips of the feathers give the appearance of an old Mist Raven. They are there to allow one to dissolve into the mist even more easily. So let's do that as well. And now we can actually go for the Phantom Kunai already, which is probably the better path to take then. So with that, I can actually check up my equipment. I'm not using the Flame Vent all that much, so I might as well just go for the Spring Loaded uh, Axe then. And the I want to try out the... Hmm, maybe the Sabumaru instead. 
Under the Sabi, Mario has a, a very straightforward use of poison against those specific uh, women warriors. So I think I'm gonna go for the Aged Feather Mist Raven and wanna try that out. So we need two Spirit Emblems to actually use that. There we go. So, I moved back towards our uh, snowy mountaintop because I wanted to see where we could go from here. Uh, the buildings seem the most interesting part right now. But I also want to see what's in the woods. And since we know that the Phantom Lady Butterfly actually got her training from some kind of forests, I want to check that out first. So, this is not the way to go, but let's just pick that up. We get another Dragon Blood Droplet. So that means probably somebody of the Divine Heritage was buried here. Because I think that Dragon Blood Droplet only pops from uh, those kind of people. That doesn't really look like something I can fall onto, right? So let's move back towards that foresty bit. So yeah, Lady Butterfly, we saw a few item descriptions that talked about her training in illusions in the forest. The Asui Forest, I think it was called. And seems like we're dealing with monkeys now. Like literal monkeys, I'm not, not uh, name calling here. Uh, and I'm guessing we should just take them out, right? I don't think I've actually fought monkeys directly so far. There we go. Let's get into the path and see what these guys can do. Probably throw fruit at me. Oh. Oh, one hit is enough, so it's pretty much the same as with the wolves. Okay, there we go. So, monkeys. Monkeys. This game is getting weirder and weirder, by the way. Monkeys. And this leads towards a pretty open... Oh no, that's the roof. That's the roof. I thought that was an open valley, but it's the roof. Silly me. What is this? It's like... I would think it's like straw, but it kind of also reminds me of fur. This is the place where the monkeys live. Why would they decorate everything with fur from themselves? That doesn't make sense, does it? Why not to do being attacked by monkeys? Some more balloons. And that's pretty much it. Oh, and we have another uh, sculptor's idol here, which is great, I suppose. Let's touch that. And you know what? Just rests. I don't care about the monkeys in my back. I'm gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. Now. Wow. Cliffs. So that means the only way is... Down for now. It's weird that it's marked like that. So there's a little building... Kind of indicating that we're at the start of a new... Wait, that's another Sculptor's Idol. So we can go over there where there's another Sculptor's... No, wait. Oh, no, oh, oh, that's different, that's the music as well. Okay. So these guys have, uh, like, rifle spears? Okay. So that's, I thought that was, that might be the Sculptor's Idol we passed when we were running away from the snake although no this look like this looks like something completely different Ooh. oh i love the secret the, the the sense of exploration in this game is great i'm glad i wanted to avoid every single spoiler i could ashina outskirts so we're back wait oh oh wait i I know that. I know what that is, right? Is that... I'm confused now. Because I feel... Like I should recognize... That over there, but I don't really. There's just too much that doesn't add up... To where we are exactly. That is also an enemy. I mean, I'm assuming if I can target it, it's an enemy. 
There we go. Sorry. I really feel sorry about killing some of these guys. Because they don't look all that evil. They just... Oh, okay. Another prayer beat. Don't mind if I do. Now, that... That... It doesn't look entirely familiar. Because if that is the... Because we started in the Ashina outskirts, right? If that is that... Then that's where we started the game, pretty much. Kind of having a hard time orienting myself. But it doesn't really seem to matter because we're going back in. And we get a pacifying agent, so that's against terror. Which is not good. And this is... wait, what the hell? Where are we? So more water. Doesn't seem to be anything in the water. But, and there's another pacifying agent over here. I'm, I'm completely missing something here, I'm pretty sure. So we can get back up if we want to. Okay, I'm kind of at a loss for words now. I don't know what this is supposed to be. So if I'm correct, then that down there is where that first headless is. That's the cave where we found the first headless. So that is actually the Ashina outskirts. Because I think we could saw this little outcropping from there. But that also means that there's nothing else here, I feel like. So let's go back and go to that other sculptor's idol. So I, re I realize there's a lot of back and forth in this episode. Not that I intended it that way, but uh, we're just discovering a lot along the way. We didn't really have any big fights just yet. Just a lot of uh, extra items and revelations. Uh, so another sculptor's idol which is right next to another one. Which is weird. I don't know why the game would do that. I have a feeling things are going to start heating up. The Sunken Valley. Okay. Okay. Because I feel like we're getting back into snake territory. Because remember, the snake, the snake didn't die. There we go. I didn't really get to pull off uh, Mikiri counter there because I was afraid I was going to drop off. Uh, doesn't seem to be anything below here, but I've said that a few times right now. No, doesn't seem to be anything here. So moving up and into what appears to be the Sunken Valley. So, seems the only way is up because this doesn't look like a valley just yet. There we go. There we go. You do need to be careful about their spears, but that's a Bloodborne reference, right? The rifle spear. That's definitely a Bloodborne reference. And there's a lot of parts here. So I feel like we could go the other way as well. Or not. Is it just the loot? No, there's definitely something here. Might as well go the more dangerous suit first. Ceramic shards. It's nothing new. And then this... Is getting us further down. And a bit of a gecko. More antidote powder. But nothing significant just yet. I think we read about the Sunken Valley a bit, right? On the Antidote Powder I'm just thinking of. So we might actually get more poison in a second. So I felt like we've entered this area a few times now. And this is just the next bit. Oh! There we go. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. There we go. Don't you know the shotgun blast? Because I think he... He shoots right after he dodges. There we go. 
We got a bit of health back, but that was not enough to offset the health loss. Um, shotgunners, so they do like the boomsticks here. And look at that. It's like a Buddha statue worked into the, the rock there. Interesting, interesting. But again, we went a completely different direction. And this must be our fourth or fifth uh, sculptor's idol here. And there's an assassin here. Hello, little man. The gun fort. It was even more formidable than we'd heard. We were reckless to go in unprepared. It takes me back. I can hear the Senpo Temple Bell. Well, the Senpo Temple Bell wasn't anything good buddy so yeah this is one of this is one of the assassins from Sampu temple but i felt like that was a hint don't go in and prepare let's commune with this thing and i just want to head back towards that previous uh idol so let's just rest and then travel to the undershrine valley i suppose so back at our previous split, seems like there's more enemies up here as well. And I don't want to leave any bit untouched. There we go. This guy goes down, but I need to be stealthy now, because if I get spotted by that guy... I am a that guy. There we go. I do love that the game keeps you on solid ground, so if you're in combat, as long as the enemy doesn't do a direct action to pull you, push you off, you won't actually lose your footing, which is great. What is this? Seems like a little bit of a house. And we get another Gord Seed. Sadly, we can't give that to Emma just yet, for some reason. And yellow gunpowder. Wait, did we see that already? We did, but it does say something about the sunken valley. Used for explosive prosthetic tool upgrades, the yield from yellow powder is greater than that of black landing the valley stronghold defenses their fiery vigor. So that's where we were warned against, what we were warned against. But uh, yeah, that seems to be everything here. So we get a bit more materials and that's pretty much it so let's go back to where we were and check out the fortress itself then there we go got a bit of practicing against that first uh, shotgun dude and we get more black gunpowder for trouble as well so let's commune with the sculptor's idol and rest a bit to get my two gourds back and then go down i suppose because there's a, a valley that needs exploring this doesn't seem so straightforward, by the way. Uh, looks like we need to leap. And then grapple up. And there's a lot of dudes that have seen me. Oh, gold. Yeah, I know what they were talking about. Oh, god. Yeah, okay. Going down again. Ooh, Nelly. And, uh, yeah. And we're dead. <laughs> I respawned and they shot me to death. Okay. So let's jump down here. I think over here I'm pretty safe. No, I'm definitely not safe. Jesus Christ. Okay. Let's try that again. Okay, second attempt. Because this seems ridiculous. There we go. That's the closer one I wanted to get. And then up here. And that gives us... A bit of a break. Snake guy Shirafu. What? She can just shoot me in the face. Okay. What? Oh, 
she just okay well hi oh god yeah <laughs> okay so there's a woman with a shotgun oh come on yeah. Yeah, and shoot again. <laughs> I'm deflecting at the perp. Okay, yep, suicide. <laughs> ah. And swap, swap, swap. And there we go. There we go. That's the first one. Didn't get hit once. Oh, come on. Ooh, don't get me off. Come on. I need to heal. And there we go. And there we go. I think I got it. Ooh, that's true, my posture. That's true, my posture. I'm gonna go for it. And there we go. There we go. Down she goes. Okay. And another prayer beat. That's my fourth one, so I can upgrade again. Okay. That was an exciting mini boss. Snake eyes. Snake eyes. That's a peculiar name for uh, an enemy. But uh, there go all my healing gourds. So now, if I want to try and attack the fortress again, I probably won't be able to. At least we get some uh, crafting materials out of this. Uh, how do we get... Maybe over here? Yeah, okay. And closer to the, the Buddha statue. Along the ice wall. And now we're getting closer to the fortress. At least we got to that mini boss. Yeah. Fire, fire, fire. That's gonna hurt, that's gonna hurt, that's gonna hurt, that's gonna hurt. Oh my god, oh, just saw that hole in the bridge, jackasses. Um, um, there we go. Woof. I don't think, can they reach me here? Jesus, that is loud. Uh, uh, uh. Ow. Okay. If I get shot again, I can't actually even reach up anymore. So let's take a pallet. If that does anything to my health bar right now. I feel like pallets... Oh, they actually grow with your health bar then. Because they do a lot more than they did before. And there we go. That's a little bit of health back. Just going to get another pallet because... There we go, more health from that guy, and more magnetite ore, and black gunpowder. Okay, so that's that one. But now the only thing going for me is a bunch of trees. And there we go. Don't know how he didn't notice me, but there we have it. And this is starting to look like a fortress gate. Just want to see if there's anything over here that I'm missing. 
I know there's at least one more gunner. Because I had one more yellow marker on me when I was down there. There's a shotgun dude over there. Don't want to be messing with him just yet. And I can see another guy. Oh! What is that even? Okay, there's traps over here. Okay, okay, so they, they know where I am now. Ow, what the hell? There's something above me firing at me as well. There we go. Yeah, he's over there. Get over here, you asshole. Down he goes. I'm just gonna keep moving because I feel like there's a lot more where that came from. Oh! Okay, so it looks like they're behind the wall now. And then the silence returned. And then the silence returned. Oh, or not. I am on the edge of my health over here. So let's just stay crouched. Snap seats, fine. I think I might be able to jump kill one of these if their attention goes away. Okay, fuck. That's the problem. I'm just gonna circle them. Jesus Christ. Ow, that was straight in the face. And I died. But I still have a resurrection if I can pull this off. No, the other guy has distance on me. God damn it! Okay, so uh, I think we have a bit of a Mexican standoff here. Or not so Mexican it is. This is ridiculous. The camera is a bit annoying at the moment. There we go. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now. Whoop. But I don't like you. You seem to be solely there for detection purposes. And is that those two shotgun dudes from before? Yeah, it is. Okay, so that means I can do try and do the same stealth attack as I tried to do before. There we go. We'll kill this guy like that. Should have told so before. There we go. Killed one with a death blow. And then we can easily take out this guy. With a few itchy munchies. There we go. In the face. Okay, might I say, Fortress Broken and more yellow gunpowder, of course. And then we got pallets, yellow gunpowder, and a heavy corn purse. All of that is very, very nice indeed. So, I'm guessing this is the entrance to the fortress then? 
That was a weird twinkly noise. When we entered. Ah, there we go. The soft blue glow of uh, a sculptor's idol. And that, I think, marks the end of our episode right here. So let's just rest at it. And uh, that will allow us to move forward. I don't think I can purchase what I wanted to purchase. Because I want to go for the mid-air combat arts now. Before we go into Shadow Rush. Although there might be some other interesting things as well. I think I want to go for the double Ichimonji neck. So uh, that will get us a follow-up strike on the very powerful Ichimonji. So uh, we'll save up one more skill point for that. And now we can also use the prayer beads. There we go. Upgrade our health bar and our posture. And we get a bit more information. Only those who have mastered the Ashina blade may set foot inside the castle dojo. Ishin will often stop by unannounced just to keep the students on their toes. So a bit of a history lesson. And that's going to be it. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Goodbye. Yeah,